Right, okay, let's talk a little bit about fluid. Now fluid then, uh, I quite like fluid. There's a really nice little technique that I use to sort of get uh, some interesting shapes a bit like this. And you can see how they sort of flow around, yeah? A um, bit like Zaha did, um, you know, organic in nature. You know, when you look at these, you think, well, you know, could that be a building? Well, yeah, Zaha did. Uh, has done some very similar buildings that look very much like this, okay? Right, so there's a little technique that I use. Now, I'm going to use uh, some, some cardboard for this. The thinner the card, the better, uh, and it's much easier to use thinner stuff. So uh, I might just show you uh, just a little small version because this this is a bit easier to use, and then I'll talk about using the, the, the card just because I'm actually – I've run out of card today, so I'm going to move. So again, what I would do is I would just create a fluid shape. Now again, what I would do is I would make it slightly longer here, and then I would move it down. Now, already, I don't know if you can see that, what I'm starting to show is obviously variation in uh, form, and I'm starting to get this corner bit here. I'm going to cut this corner bit off. Okay, now by doing that, can you see what I've just done? If I make this little fold here, if I fold it with my or pinch it with my fingers, I'm starting to get this sort of organic shape. Yeah, can you see that? A really sort of organic form. Yeah, uh, you know, there's definitely def definition in there, like so. So again, what I could do is obviously start sticking that down, like so. And I've already got a really nice fluid image okay so let's do that with a slightly bigger piece and a piece of card and then i'm going to overlap them so i'm going to cut this bit here and i'm going to cut it here okay and longer piece works a bit better and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go score okay and again what I'm starting to do, as you can see now, I'm starting to get some interesting shapes. So let's score score this a bit more. Let's cut that, cut this bit off. Okay, and then I could also do is I could start to bring that element up. Okay, so again, Starting to show variation of form and shape. Uh, but you can see it's slightly different than the um, than the sort of thinner card. Because the thinner card tends to give you more of a, you know, it folds a bit better. Yeah. So, you know, see what you see which see see which way you like or which which material you like. But again, you can sort of see the context with that. Um, Let's just try once more. So I'm going to show you another idea with another thinner piece of card. So again, let's go for something quite neat and tidy now. Uh, so a nice little score, a nice little score. So folding that out. Okay. And then I'm going to take this bit out here. And then I'm just going to fold that down. So what I'm going to do fold that and then I'm going to fold that around here so again you can start to see how I'm getting this sort of definition of shape and form uh, you know I, and then I could start to start to join those elements together okay so again what I would do is I would then take some tape um, let's take this bit off because that's just horrible. And I could just carve, carve this bit down here. So I started to get my my shape. And then what I would do is I would then obviously stick that stick that down again. I'm just use tape. I would normally use glue gun, but I'm trying to show you materials that you will have at home in this sort of remote period. Okay, so again. Uh, I might just fold that this here. So it's going to need a bit of sticking. 
because it's got some obviously uh, resistance there. Uh, okay. And then what I could do is then maybe, uh, you know, how does, how does this work if I sort of morph these together? Uh, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah? Sort of morph these elements together. And I like the variation in, in colour. Uh, that was just a complete fluke, that was. Um, take that out. That was just there for... And then just take a bit more. Uh, so again, showing, you know, showing that sort of fluid, fluid shape. So what I would do is put a bit of tape and tape on the bottom, fold that round so that it's sticking. Uh, quite like that. It's got some type of, you know. And then what I might do even, just to add, the, add to the fluidity of this model, I might even cut the landscape so it looks fluid. Yeah, so I'm cutting the landscape to say, you know, in my context, taking the forms of my building. Okay, there we are. Slightly more fluid, but again, here's one I made earlier in Blue Peter. You could obviously uh, add more multiple elements together which would obviously then give you um more of a sort of fluid based idea okay